We can make the Steam Deck screen look vibrant through the plugin. We can even do this within Steam OS 3.5. But what about Windows? In today's video, let's make this happen on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you have never installed the AMD software to tweak the screen color on your deck, you can skip to this time to start the fresh installation process. But if you already have the AMD software installed on your deck, but it stopped working after Windows updates, then stay for the next section. Let me get my Steam Deck set up here quickly first. By the way, this is my favorite daily case. I barely use the stock case that comes with the deck. That's a great case, but it's too bulky to fit into my backpack. I found this case here not only provide the best protection, but also very compact to carry around. Now let's get back to our topic. If you have followed my previous video and installed the AMD software to make your Steam Deck screen look more vibrant, now when you try to open the AMD software and you got this message, the reason that you got this message is the Windows update has silently replaced your graphic driver that was released by a while with a generic driver from Microsoft. This is not good. We can also verify this by going to the device manager. If under your display adapter, it shows Microsoft basic display adapter. This means the generic driver from Microsoft has replaced your GPU driver. In this situation, you were not able to change the screen brightness either. The graphic driver from WoW is specially made to work with Steam Deck. If your graphic driver has been replaced by Windows updates and this need to be fixed, it's pretty easy to fix this. All you need to do is head to the Steam website, download the latest APU driver and install the driver. It will overwrite the Microsoft generic driver currently on your Steam Deck. After the APU driver is installed, if we go to the device manager again, under the display adapters, it should show AMD custom GPU 0405. This means the Microsoft generic driver has been successfully overwritten. Once you have the correct APU driver on your Steam Deck, then just follow the rest of this video to install the AMD Adrenaline software again. Then you can make the screen color looks vibrant again with Windows. Before we start the installation process, there are two pre-requirements on your Windows. The first one is to make sure you already have the latest APU driver installed on your deck. To check whether you have the latest APU driver, just go to the device manager. Then select display adapter. You should have AMD customer GPU 0405 here. Click on this and select properties. Under the driver tab, the driver date should be 27th February 2023. If you have an outdated driver, please make sure you update to the latest driver from the Steam Deck website. I have linked the website under the video description. The second pre-requirement is to make sure the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015-2022 has been installed on your deck. If you don't have this, I already have the download link under this video description for you. Once you have met the two pre-requirements, just head to this AMD website from your internet browser. The website link is available from this video description. Just remember only this 23.3.2 version AMD software that will work with Steam Deck. Just move down on this page and click here to download the software. After the download is finished, please don't install this software directly. The AMD software should be in the download folder here. Instead of installing this exe file, we need to use 7-zip software to extract this exe file first. This extraction process will take about 2 minutes. After the extraction is done, we can just go inside the folder, then open the package folder, then drivers folder, next display folder, then WT6A folder, then open the folder B3894.90. Inside this folder, look for ccc2-install. Double click on this file to process the installation. Click yes on this pop-up. The installation process now begin. It will take about 2 minutes. Once the process is done, we can close this window. 
If we go to the search bar now and type in AMD, we will see the AMD settings show up and click to open up the AMD software. After the software is opened, just go to settings, then click on display. On the right side, turn on the custom color feature. Next, we can change all the screen color options here. Just try to adjust each slide and find the best settings that works for yourself. Different people may have different color tastes, so I'm not going to show my settings here. That's pretty much all for this video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.